Magandang umaga, Malacanang Press Corps. Happy Friday and welcome to our press briefing today. Before we end this week, we have some very good news to share regarding our health infrastructure. The National Economic Development Authority Board, chaired by our President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., has approved the University of the Philippines UPPGH Cancer Center, a public public-private partnership project aimed at modernizing the country's health infrastructure on oncology services and cancer care. Napakagandang balita na to. At para ibahagi sa atin ang detalye ng proyektong yan, makakasama natin ngayon ang kalihim ng NEDA or National Economic and Development Authority, Secretary Arsenio Balisacan. Sir, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, uh, let me greet uh, everyone. Um, especially our presenters, <laughs> spokesperson uh, Daphne Paez and members of the Malacanang Press Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Apart from the uh, PGH, uh, UPPGH project that uh, spokesperson uh, Daphne has mentioned, I would like to share with you, and I am pleased to announce, that the NEDA board has, uh, are chaired by our president, per President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., approved seven high-impact projects during the third uh, meeting of the NEDA board yesterday. These projects are expected to significantly contribute to achieving our social and economic transformation goal in the medium term. First on the list is uh, what has uh, been mentioned, the uh, approval of the University of the Philippines Philippine General Hospital, or UPPGH, Cancer Center, Cancer Center uh, for Public-Private Partnership. Uh, the NEDA board approved the solicited build, transfer, operate proposal for the Cancer Center, which will offer comprehensive, high-quality, and affordable oncology care services, while helping pay for itself over 30 years. The project will upgrade existing PGH capacity of 300 beds plus outpatient care to be integrated in a new dedicate, dedicated cancer hospital that will modernize UPPGH's health infrastructure and demonstrate how the country's public health services can be at par with private care in terms of medical quality and support services. To set the record straight, there will be no privatization of PGH services. The government shall own the entire facility and PGH shall continue to operate as a public hospital. In the coming weeks, our experts in UPPGH as the implementing agency will bear the specific details on the subject to inform the public and its and interested private partners. This project is the first PPP project approved under the Marcos administration. Once completed, it will be a, one of the largest cancer centers in Asia in terms of bed capacity. In addition to the NEDA board approval of the UPPGH Cancer Center solicited project, a PPP project, four projects proposed to be financed through official development assistance loan financing with a total amount of 117 billion pesos will commence implementation in 2023. The NEDA board also approved an increase in cost of the MRT3 rehabilitation project by 7.6 billion pesos from 21.9 billion to 29.6 billion pesos. The NEDA board likewise approved the utilization of the uh, JICA loan balance, the Japan International Cooperation Agency, of 2.12 billion pesos for the CNS ATM, or that is uh, communication, navigation, satellite, uh, uh, air traffic management, uh, maintenance and resiliency enhancement. I now turn to the discussion of these projects. The, 
The NEDA board confirmed the Investment Coordination Committee, or ICC, approval of the new Damaguete Airport Development Project of the Department of Transportation. Under this project, a new airport facility in Bakong, Negros Oriental, will be developed with domestic and international standards for operation, operational safety and efficiency. This project will replace the existing Domaguete Sibulan Airport due to physical and operational constraints involving the latter. The new Domaguete Airport shall enhance the, the province's tourism and trade potential, economic activities, and standard of living. The total project cost amounts to 17 billion pesos, of which 13 billion will be funded through ODA or official development assistance from the Korean government through the Export-Import Bank of Korea Economic Development Cooperation Fund. The Philippine government, through the DOTR, will shoulder the remaining amount of about 3.9 billion pesos. The project will be implemented within seven years. Also approved was the Department of Agriculture's Mindanao Inclusive Agriculture Development Project, or MIDP, which aims to increase agricultural productivity, resiliency, and access to markets and services of organized farmers and fisher groups in selected areas. This agriculture development project covers selected ancestral domains in Mindanao from regions 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and the BARM or BANG. This or the project will, will be pivotal in reducing poverty, unemployment, and food insecurity among indigenous peoples. It will improve the economic situation of the indigenous peoples in Mindanao and further strengthen the capacity of LGUs to impl implement support programs that address weak market linkages and poor infrastructure in geographically isolated ancestral domains. The project's estimated total cost is 6.6 .6 billion pesos, of which 5.3 billion is to be financed through ODA loan from the World Bank, while the ba balance of 863 million and 461 million will be shouldered by the Philippine government through the Department of Agriculture and LGUs, respectively. The NEDA board also confirmed the ICC approval of the first phase of the Integrated Flood Resilience and Adaptation a project of the Department of Public Works and Highways. The project aims to mitigate flood damage, reduce flood risk, and improve climate resilience in, the, in three major river basins in the country. The first phase of this flood resilience project will have the following outputs. The improvement of strategic flood risk management planning, the development of flood protection infrastructure in three target major river basins, namely Abra, Ranao, and Tagum Libuganon in Mindanao. And lastly, the strengthening of community-based flood risk management measures. The project with an estimated cost of 20 billion pesos is to be financed through an ODA loan from the Asian Development Bank. Further, the NEDA board also approved the request for changes on two ongoing projects of the DOTR and the DPWH. The NEDA board confirmed the ICC approval of the DOTR's request for changes in scope increase in cost, and extension of the implementation period for the Davao, Davao Public Transport Modernization Project. The project involves delivering a modern, high-priority bus system for Davao City, wherein interconnected bus services will be prioritized along 29 routes. The implementation period for this project is extended from 2023 to 2029. The NEDA board confirmed the DOTR's request for changes in scope, project cost increase, implementation period extension, additional loan, 
and second loan reallocation of the Metro Rail Transit Line 3 or MRT3 rehabilitation project. This project involves upgrading MRT3, MRT3 to its original as designed state with provision for capacity expansion in the future. All subsystems will be restored, renewed, or upgraded, including the tracks, signaling system, power supply system, overhead catenary system, and communication system, as well as maintenance and station equipment. The project will also involve integrating other uh, MRT3-related projects, such as the common, uh, common station, the Dalian trains, and the transition to a four-car train configuration. This rehabilitation or rehabilitation project aims to enhance the safety and level of services of or service of the MRT3 and to promote its use to help alleviate the worsening traffic congest congestion in Metro Manila. Lastly, the NEDA board approved the expansion of the scope of the 24 November 2022 NEDA board approval to include the utilization of the of the 2.12 billion uh, uh, JICA loan or uh, loan balance for the co communications, navigations, surveillance, uh, air traffic management system, uh, maintenance and resilience en enhancement with the following components, maintenance contra contracts, ultimate uh, fallback system, and the feasibility study, feasibility study for the independent uh, backup system. The approval includes a 60-month uh, uh, loan validity extension from 2023 to 2028 to cover the preceding intended uh, utilization. This approval shall uh, enable uh, uh, the upgrade of our air transport facilities and improve passenger experience by enhancing the safety, rel reliability, and efficiency of our air traffic service in the Fili in, in Philippine airspace following international standards. In line with the strategies identified under the Philippine Development Plan 2023 to 2028, the approval of these high-impact projects is a manifestation of the Marcos administration's strong commitment to improving the quality of life of the Filipino people. In the next six years, we can look forward to seeing more of our agencies and sectors working hand-in-hand -hand toward creating a prosperous, inclusive, and resilient society. Thank you, and a pleasant day to all.